Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa, and today I just wanted to do a really quick video um, reviewing this deck that I got. So this is the Silver Moon Oracle deck from Midnight Oracle Shop on Etsy. And I really like it a lot, and I haven't seen it uh, used by anybody else, so I just wanted to um, do a quick review of it, just so you can see the cards and, you know, decide if it's something you're interested in. Um, I got this one because I was really uh, looking into getting the Moonology deck, but it, I love, love, love Moon cards, and the Moonology deck, it looked really nice, but it just didn't really call out to me, and this one, when I saw this one on Etsy, it was so beautiful, so I just wanted to show it to you guys in case you're looking for a deck, and this one, you know, might be the one you're looking for. So it does have these really nice silver gilded edges. Those are really, really pretty. Um, I believe I paid around $50 for this deck, which I know is pricey. Um, but, you know, to me, since it was exactly what I was looking for, I thought it was totally worth it. So we're just going to go through um, the cards a bit. So I put them, I think I put them in the order that I got them in. I'm not sure because I... You know, obviously I've shuffled it quite a bit, um, but we'll just go through and I'll show some of them to you. So this did not come with a guidebook. Uh, it just comes in this little sleeve here. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't know how they got their artwork. I don't know if they use stock images or what they do, but um, I, I really like them. I think they're very pretty. So we'll just go through quickly. We have, you know, uh, each one is a different moon. I have a bad glare, I'm sorry. So we have, you know, Aurora Moon, Black Moon, Blood Moon, Blue Moon, Bright Moon, Cold Moon, I love that one. Cosmic Moon, which I've pulled a bunch of times for myself. Uh, Crescent Moon, Crow Moon, Dark Moon, Eclipse, flower moon and like I said there's no guidebook but you can see that they have you know just a few words on the bottom uh, just to kind of guide you but gibbous moon this is really mostly about intuition which I, I kind of really like grain moon half moon halo moon harvest moon Horned Moon, Lover's Moon, I'm really sorry about that, Glare, Moonbow, which is really nice, it's cute, Moon Path, Moon Phases, Moon Rise, Moonscape, Moon Set, that one also, really nice, New Moon, and then we get into some more interesting cards. Oak Moon, Owl Moon. I mean, they're all interesting, but these ones I just, you know, thought were very, you know, Pink Moon. I just haven't seen ones like these before. Rose Moon, Shadow Moon, Oop. Snow Moon, Tender Moon, Thunder Moon, Unicorn Moon, Waning Moon, Water Moon, Waxing Moon, and Wolf Moon. I think I, I might have skipped a couple by accident. I feel like there was one we did not see. Lover's Moon. Did we see that one? Hmm. I think I might have skipped it by accident. But anyway, so these are, you know, some really, really beautiful cards. Um, as I said, I like that they just have the, you know, three words on the bottom. I, I kind of like that they don't have a guidebook because you get to use your intuition more and, you know, it's really up to you what the card means because guidebooks are great and I really do like them for decks that are a little bit, you know, harder to interpret because they're more, um, like for example, I have the Mermaid Oracle and, you know, that one is not a very intuitive deck for me. That one has, a, a, you can really read into the meanings in the guidebook 
the artists, um, I mean, the, uh, you know, the people who worked on the deck, I feel like have had a very specific idea in mind for each card. So reading about it really helps. But these ones, I feel like they're just simple enough that you can really just pull one. And, you know, all you need are those little, those little keywords at the bottom, and they really help. So I really, really like this deck. It's so pretty. I just, I love it. Um, I think the, right now, the pink moon is my favorite. Oh, it's so nice. Renewal, beauty, and happiness. I love that. And I also actually got, um, they have, uh, the Midnight Oracle Shop has these little bundles. So I got mine with a little amethyst that's in my box over there right now. But, um, you know, you have the option of getting like a velvet bag with the amethyst and you pay a little bit extra money. Um, they also have little bundles, like you can get two of their decks and save a little bit of money if you were looking to get two anyway. They have a bunch of different decks. I'll definitely put a link down below. Um, they have like other bundles. They have a crystal mystery box. Uh, and there's also on their Etsy page, they have like an enter to win um, link. So you can enter to win a free deck. So that's pretty cool too. So anyway, yeah, this was like really, really um, quick, simple. I just wanted to, you know, express just how much I like this deck. Um, I just really think it's so nice. Now you do get a little bit of that gilding it does come off a little bit, but it's really not that bad. It's not as bad as some other ones that I've seen. Uh, like I have a gold gilded deck and that one just gets gold everywhere every time I open it. And it's, it's a shame because sometimes I'll, you know, even if I want to use it, I'll refrain from using it because I know that gold is going to get everywhere. But this one, it's really only a little bit that it comes off. And I feel like the more that I use it, probably obviously it will stop happening as much. Um, but you know, it's really not that bad. It's a really pretty deck and the card stock is nice. Um, they're very, you know, they're easy to shuffle, uh, standard card size. I feel like I'm really, I'm new to this, so I can't say for certain that it's a standard card size, but they look and feel pretty pretty natural when you're holding them. Um, I'm not going to shuffle them right now because I just put them all in order. And I also just realized that they're actually all in alphabetical order. So I'm guessing I, uh, I'm guessing this is how I got it. But, um, for my next video, I'm going to definitely do something about that glare. Cause that is, that is horrendous, but I will definitely fix it. Uh, so I just wanted to, oh, I like the flower moon too. That one's pretty yeah, really, really nice. Um, so I just wanted to show this, you know, in case anyone else is like me, obsessed with the moon and, you know, was just kind of looking for a nice moon deck that's maybe not the moonology one because everyone has that one already, you know? So anyway, if this helped you, I really hope it did. Um, you could give it a like and I'll definitely put a link down below to that shop, all right? But thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a really nice day. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys again. All right. See you later.